He almost got- there you go, there he is. Swally just swallowed the entire school. Obviously, it only had its mouth on like the bottom corner of it, but when it inhales, the entire school disappears. Oh crap! <laughs> well, I almost scanned it. I think the brood shark just freaking bites anything it can in the vicinity, except other brood sharks. That makes sense, it's just a large mouth with no brain behind it. Yo, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here. I'm so freaking upset. I just had the screen paused on the most epic lightning bolt I've ever seen in my freaking life. And naturally, now it's gone because I unpaused it as I clicked back into the game. Damn it, dude, I was there. I had achieved immortality through the perfect lightning bolt. Screenshot! Anyways, what's going on, beautiful people? Riot's here back with another episode of Subnautica, continuing on the survival series. Today, I have some creature documentation to do. We're gonna be doing some scientific analysis -ing type schnitzel. Also, has anybody down there, if you guys have, please comment down below if you've been able to find any Karar, College, or co College DPA, or Altera Precursor research notes. I'm looking all over the freaking place to send it back up. I've already obviously sent up my DNA to get analyzed because I have a precursor in my body and all that jazz, but... Now I just gotta send up samples. I can't find any of these damn samples. Well, that's just donkey stuffing. Dude, look how many of these creatures there are right here. It's gonna be hard to get a fish. Everyone's off hunting fish. Also, from my video yesterday where we discussed and went through all the scientific currently analysis of all the creatures we currently have, it did say that these things are freaking feedable and tameable. I was unable to get one of them fed and tamed last episode, but... They did make like a conscious effort to try and get the fish from my hands. It's like I think I'm holding a fish. It's not appearing, but my hands hold Either I'm getting ready to rub one out or I'm holding a fish. Wait, I'm a chick. I don't know. Chicks can have chicks can have wieners. It's 2019. Alright, let's just get fed and hydrated. And then I basically just want to go through the species today. Documenting the That's what I almost made a your mama joke because. You know, your mama seeks fluid intake. There you are, you bastard! But yes, I'm very interested today in the natural ecosystem, if you will, of Subnautica because the, the devs put a lot of thought into all these creatures. Everything is hunted by something or is the hunter of something for the most part. It's a, it's a natural ecosystem. Like, that's it's, it's self-checking. Dude, something's buggy with my- I mean, obviously, it's super duper early access. The fish are kind of invisible for me, though. Might- might be a little of a down- downfall on a video today where we were going over the- Boop. Burps. Did I just cook all my bladder fish instead of making water? Stabilizing. You guys watched me do it, too. You're just as guilty. Also, can you guys fill me in on some of the blueprints you've been able to find? I feel like we should all be cross-referencing each other's information right now, so we're all, like- pretty much on the same page with everything in below zero because I have gone over just about every blueprints in the area just through my scanner room look I changed them to blue so they look like boobs blue boobs bloobs I'd say how are we doing on batteries but I'm a professional survivor extraordinaire I know we're doing just fine on batteries all right so I think we're just gonna start with the creatures in the immediate vicinity and then branch outward onto the outskirts of the ecosystem where it's just generally bone sharks and rock punchers for the most parts that's how I'm thinking we shall do today's episode also thanks so much everyone for being so supportive of my subnautica videos it's occurred to me though that you guys wouldn't all be as supportive if you knew how narrow my head was without headphones. It goes pretty flat without the headphones. Before you guys leave another like or subscribe anymore, I need you guys to be notable of my head. My head. I'm like Dory. See, there's no point in getting into the food chain necessarily for the first wave of creatures. The tiniest wave of fish because they're not eating visible things around us. They're eating like algae and plankton and such. They generally have no defense mechanisms. The bladderfish, for example, its main defense mechanism is like, uh, largely oblivious to threats and practically immobile at night. Its only identified defense mechanism is that it's composed almost entirely of air, water, and cartilage. So there's really the, the first base of creatures around here, There's they're, they're eating these little specks in the water for the most part. Where are, there we go, some of the penguins. The penguins, I think, even though we already pretty much know exactly what their little um, circle of life is based off the Subnautica trailer, they essentially spend their days swimming around gathering food, which are just gathering fish and then going up up here. I don't actually know if they do 
I, because even as, as of yet, they do not, at least, because I feel like we've all spent a good time monitoring them. No one's actually seen one of them cough up a fish as they do in the freaking trailer. There's no point. The babies are, like, essentially able to go hunt and feed for themselves. That's, that's what our adorable little fella right here is, our little penguin we've had since the start of this series. So even the children are able to full-off go and eat and all that. There's, the trailer is amazing, but that's not exactly how it's going down. I freaking love how you're able to steal these little things, by the way. Best mechanism in the game. Now, the trailer also shows... Are you being eaten by that? Do freaking symbiotes actually hurt? No, you ate the symbiote. That's a good boy, eating symbiotes. That's what I like to see right there. So these things essentially could hunt and kill any small fish. In the trailer, obviously, the brute shark is hunting them as well, but you don't necessarily see that around here, considering brute sharks aren't in till the next biome over. Wow, but if you spectator mode up to that structure right there, you see some pretty crazy stuff. Pretty crazy stuff. Alright, so just for the sake of experiments and everything, note where my penguin is. My penguin's up. up okay, my penguin's right there. That one shall remain. But for the sake of testing out what the circle of life and food chain is around here, you're the new one, I'm gonna go drop off this baby penguin in front of a brute shark to see if they do indeed hunt them the way they do in the trailer. Oh! Jesus! Horrifying, horrifying little thing. How the hell did that thing evolve? They say millions of years ago, ISIS washed up on this island and they eventually evolved into this explodey suicidal bombfish. I will never miss a chance to make fun of ISIS. Get a life, you nerds. All right, so not you guys, ISIS. All the ISIS members watching this video, get a life. All right, so Brood Shark, you are above the pangling in the food chain. You do hunt them in the trailer. I'm assuming you hunt them in... Was that a strike on its life or what? See, the thing is, the, the brute sharks are dumb as hell. And that's not like an insult towards the game's artificial intelligence. That's literally when you scan them, it says they're a low intelligence life form. They're just a small brain and a large set of teeth for the most part. I don't think they're very good at staying locked onto a target. I also don't think they're programmed to specifically hunt these bad boys either. Because again, you'll not see any penguins in this biome anywhere. That's just not... Why, why would they be here? There's, there's easy hunting and easy survival over that way. Penguin obviously fulfilling its immediate circle of life, hunting the fish in the vicinity. That's an awesome little fella right there. So yeah, the circle of life is... I mean, the only reason I know these things are so aggressive is because of my... Looks like everything small is below them in the food chain. Just typically hunting the pinnacarids. I guess that makes sense because they're about penguin size and dominate this environment like there's a buttload of them here that would obviously be what I'd hunt these things of course only eat smaller fish damn you don't even give a poop about the penguin do you? Ah! well that scared all of us a little bit didn't it seconds. I guess we're all looking for our place in the food chain aren't we Jesus Christ well you sly boots you've also made me drop my med pick come here come here come here, come here. No one ever said nature uh, was easy. An intelligent and curious creature which hunts and forages below the waterline, but returns to the surface to breathe. Eats small fish, maybe hand-fed, shows taming potential. Which we tried last time a bunch, it didn't really work, but the creature kept swimming around trying to get something from our hands, so down the line I'm assuming they'll have the, just about the same life cycle of stalkers, meaning... Actually, I don't know, stalkers seem more aggressive. Stalkers are kind of only tamed as long as you have something to feed them, whereas these things might just stay tamed. What are you hunting, bud? Just down below, lurking in the depths. Now you're just hunting me. Alright, so that's essentially where I'll place these guys on the food chain. See, there's nothing really above them as of right now, either. Hey, what is this crap? It's not letting me, um... It's not letting me... It's not letting me put batteries in my steez! Oh, this is like witchcraft, homie. Crap. All right, early access. I still love you. This is a big downfall of my plan right here. I kind of need... I'm just not going to save the game. I was obviously going to need my... Pa my... my... Shmoobly do. I feel rickrolled. All right, nevertheless. What I was saying before everything went wrong in my face. Beautiful pickerids right here. Hunting for a small fish. Um... Is that the only thing? Yep, there you just ate a bladder fish. The only thing I can see being above the brute shark in the food chain around here is Leviathan class creatures. Of course, in the twisty bridges biome, which is what this is referred to, due to its twisty bridges, they're there hunting another pigrid. Um, I would imagine there aren't many Leviathans here. Not a lot of room. 
The only Leviathan class sized creature in game currently is the Glow Whale. Unless the Ice Worm also counts? I think it does count, because the Leviathan class in Subnautica is usually based around the size of the creature. But either way, Ice Worms are mostly on surface, as far as I can tell, and Glow Whales are in big open areas. And Glow Whales only eat swarms or school of, uh, of, of. Crap, I forgot your name! It's irrelevant, okay? I don't need the names of creatures from it. I want to. I want to say hoopfish. No, hoopfish are the ones that have a hoop. What? It, what? It's like on the tip of my tongue. Damn it! I was not expecting trivia. Either way, glow whales only eat these. They literally only eat these schools of fish right here. So they 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 don't even eat. Like they wouldn't even go after a brute shark anyways. That wouldn't even make sense. So typically, I'm thinking these things are the top of the food chain in their environments. They only are hunts. Are they only hunts? They are not hunted. Whereas these things hunt and are hunted. This is beautiful. I was wanted to do something like this in real life, but we already know what all the fish do for the most part, and the ocean's not this pretty in real life. It's all filled- it's freezing! I guess this water would be freezing too. But, like, there's no sea snakes, dude. I'm not going anywhere where there's sea snakes. What do you do when one of them comes at you and it's swimming at you like 15 miles an hour and you're swimming away at like 4 miles an hour? What are you gonna do, dog? Nothing! You're gonna die in the water! You know, this isn't what we're talking about right now. I'm trying to find- they're around here somewhere. The next creature I want to break apart in this creature observing episode of creaturisms. Where are you, my beautiful sea ray? My ray of the ocean. There was one around here. They're not. It would be easier with a freaking glider! Whatever. Whatever, bro. I think I might just need to go craft another one. One that isn't broken. That's probably it, because everything else in my inventory still works just fine. Crap, dude, I'm just gonna do it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to go run to base really quick to make another sea glide. This is no way to live. We're, what? Sea shanty. Oh my god, it's all the way back that way. Alright, we see some lube, some copper wire, and some titanium. Sounds like a Saturday night. <laughs> no, that's disgusting. But also accurate. I can't stop thinking about ears, man. After reading that bladder fish are just air, skin, and cartilage, they're essentially just ears, bro. They're just freaking ears. We've just been, we've been drinking these ears dry for years, dude. Years of ears. Oh my god. I freaking love this. How uh, the pinnacard is? Pinnacard? Pinnacarito? Can get stuck in the gravitational pull and still eat the fish in the gravitational pull. It's the closest thing we have to um. To taming, taming these bad boys as of yet. That's a special moment. Special moment for Johnny Boy. Alright, finally a new freaking sea glide. I'm just gonna dump this piece of crap. It's broken. Like, there's no point in keeping it. It just doesn't freaking work. It just doesn't. <laughs> Upgrade time, baby. Alright, and once again, we are. Wait. Alright, this one at least works. Okay. Because it is a full battery. Yes! Yes! Hey, look, he's got his face coming through the wall. Look, you can see the gills like right behind his little front flipper face fin thingy. What a magnificent spectacle. Cool creature. At least I have something to look at while we do this. Two sets of eyeballs, purple antenna, little blue thing on the front, and a beak. What, 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 what even is that thing? You know what's funny is the creature we're looking for, the ray, is um, it's a herbivore. It's not even above anything in the food chain, and I'm pretty sure it's mostly, it's like mostly left alone. I haven't seen anything actually attack the creature. It's just kind of this little beautiful thing that just hangs out by its- did I get this? Oh, I thought I missed you, you dirty bastard. See, I missed a bunch. I'm only 12 out of 50. I didn't know I was supposed to scan them all until like way later. I'm not going over the circle of life and food chain for the crash fish. I don't even understand what the hell they get out of self-destructing. They're like, it just makes no freaking sense. I love them, but I don't understand where they fit into the circle of life at all. Oh, finally, man! I really wanted to just find them naturally chilling in some little shingy, and I really did. These creatures are absolutely beautiful. I feel like every Star Wars spaceship should be modeled after one from here on out. And you know what? Let's just let's just model the new movies after this creature too, because whatever you guys are doing down at Star Wars HQ is just atrocious. All right, so before I run out of oxygen, let's try and read this beautiful creature's schnitzel. The Arctic Ray, a fast-moving ray species, well adapted to low-temperature environments. Two sets of wing-like fins enable this ray to quickly change direction and accelerate, blah, blah, blah. It's... It's okay, here's what I should have got through. Like other rays, it is exclusively herbivorous, and it is harmless. So it literally just ingests plant life, and is completely... It'll never mess with you no matter what you do to it, right? I can stab you, and I'll just generally... 
There's no, there's no crime in the jungle. He seemed rather pissed. Yeah, the creature just completely booked out. It's actually kind of sad how, how sca uh oh. Oh, well, looks like yet that another creature seconds. below the brute shark in the food chain. I think the brute shark just freaking bites anything it can in the vicinity except other brute sharks. That makes sense. It's just a large mouth with no brain behind it. All right, time to go swim on over to the area where we could always find my favorite example of perfect symbiosis in any video game ever. I'm so happy the devs think this kind of stuff. It's, it's on my mind. It's just, it's, it's on the oh, fish. What did I say? I feel like I said maybe I was right. I, 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 I just, that drove me crazy. Anyways, the freaking giant, um, the giant whole fish and the symbiotes. Obviously, like yesterday, into yesterday's, or wait, no, it was two days ago now. Into two days ago's video, we covered that the uh, symbiote essentially lives and breeds and nests inside the gills of the large whole fish and in return wards off all predators that try and attack the large whole fish. And the large whole fish generally doesn't. It just, it just basically gives off these particles or whatever that, um, the symbiote survives off of. I, I might have phrased that incorrectly. I was trying to figure out where I was going also. So yesterday we were in creative mode. Today I'm in my survival game, so... Yeah, that's what I wanted. Okay, there we go. The symbiotes. This is, I just wanted to get the... Okay, freaking, um... I don't want to cover the same stuff as yesterday. I'm just trying to get... See, symbiotes feed mostly on overconfident predators which attack the titan holdfish. That's... I think the main thing we've seen, or I've, I've at least seen, no, you guys have definitely seen it with me, is pinnacards. Pinnacards? I gotta just ask the devs what I should be calling those things. Those are the only thing we, these, these suckers right here will occasionally attack the titan holdfish and be attacked mercilessly by the symbiotes. I've also made a similar mistake. Where'd the little symbiote go? There you are, you little bastard. Symbiotes, of course, are not that high in the food chain either. I would not be surprised if a pinnacarid was able to ingest them as well, seeing as how it could already eat small fish. And a freaking penguin baby ate one of these things, dude. If a penguin baby... I hate you so much, you little bastard. I've just unleashed hell on you, young man. Get him, buddy! Sick him, boy! Your days are numbered, I say. Don't you come at me. He's trying to get him. Little dude's trying to get him. I can't imagine the freaking angling and AI calculations for swimming creatures to be anything <laughs> short of a pain in the ass. At least it barely does any damage to me. I think our penguin is now just obsessed. Yep, he's just eating other fish now. Yep, that's exactly what's going on here. It is freaking. See, I have to rescan it now because I'm on my other accounts. But there they are. They're the Titan old fish living inside. Living inside the hole, nesting in the gills. And here we have a penguin. Ooh, an adult. That's what I like to see right there. A much better hunter than a child, eating the freaking symbiotes. God, I love this game. Circle Life, a couple of them are pissed at him now. They're gonna go take off, but they can't do nothing. Just a large school of them protecting the Titan whole fish. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Complex gills, I read all this yesterday. See, it's beautiful. Look, it migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiotes. So it eats off freaking crap from the symbiotes, and the symbiotes, uh, symbiotes, symbiotes, the symbiotes eat what tries to hunt the whole fish, making a perfect. I, I know I've talked about this case of symbiosis in every one of my Subnautica videos by now. It's just so freaking cool that they have stuff like this in game. It chips me out every time I f swim past it. All right, I did want to do this. I never want to activate it, or I never wanted to activate any sort of dev commands on my survival series, because why would you ever want to rid yourself of an experience that is surviving in Subnautica? But I wasn't exactly sure where sea monkeys actually exist in this game just yet, so I went to spawn one in just so we could see what they eat and what eats them. And when you type in spawn sea monkey, it looks like it just appears for a millisecond and then is gone. So I'm actually wondering if I didn't forget that in yesterday's video, if they just actually happened to not be in Subnautica quite yet. <gasps> I did good, I didn't forget anything. God, I freaking love when you stumble upon a Titan whole fish migration area. It's like, it's it's almost as beautiful as when you stumble upon a sea treader migration area in the first Subnautica game. Cause they just kind of occupy the entire area like jellyfish just all around. It's beautiful. Look at it, it goes all the way down so you can see them cause they're so freaking translucent. Spectacular. So many over here too, my god. See, this is about where I'd imagine finding a um a glow whale in Subnautica right here. 
out here, I imagine, once there's more brute sharks, penguins will not have much of a survival chance. The outskirts of the map, the deep water, is obviously very unpopulated right now. Not much flora or fauna or creatures or nothing. I think I just contradicted myself. Alright, and now we come across the bone shark, an ancient species of creature so douchebaggish it remains unchanged by evolution for millions of years. And then of course the rock puncher as well. Nice little combination of creatures rocking off in this vicinity. Now I've already scammed you on my other worlds, have I scanned you on this one? Obviously. The rock puncher being one of the most highly anticipated creatures of Subnautica, purely because Obviously, there's going to be way more epic stuff, but this is like some of the earliest concept leaked arc right here. Like, this is when it started really coming together that there was going to be crazy arctic creatures. Obviously, there's many more confirmed and some that are still going to be decided, but as of now, this is what we've got. See, the rock puncher, as I remember, like, attracted a glow larva found in, in around deep sea rock formations. That's why it essentially breaks the rocks to eat the freaking larva within the rocks. And it's only vulnerable to Leviathan class predators, in which there aren't any hostile Leviathans in the water as of yet in Subnautica. Be it the, the ice worms on land and the glow whale is only eat small stuff. Um, they pretty much have no predator as of yet in the food chain. And of course nothing is really below them because they're eating stuff in the rocks that the player can't actually see. There's just this beautiful creature that kind of remains untouched by the food chain. Until of course you stab him! Personally, I think they should do a lot freaking more damage. I was hit twice by that thing and only lost a tiny millimeter amount of health. Not even enough worthy enough to like use up a med kit. That's just a waste of a med kit right there. That's one thing I, th I think they should definitely be a lot stronger. Essentially, since they're supposed to be throwing jabs at near the speed of sound, absolutely. The bone shark, I'm actually not sure of. I'm not sure what you have to worry about, bud. Maybe me. <laughs> See how much more freaking damage that thing does than a rock puncher? Jesus Christ. Now that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of nuts. Thick armored exoskeleton, large balls, generally slow and unresponsive as a means of energy conservation. They will act uh, with uncompromising speed and aggression towards any threat to their territory. Has anyone ever in their life playing Subnautica seen about anything ever attack a bone shark ever? I don't think I have. I feel like a, Le a Reaper Leviathan could have ripped one up, but they weren't even in the... So I just can't load batteries into my stuff right now. It doesn't matter what it is. I just can't load batteries into stuff. I gotta go make a new flashlight. Usually you just click R and then you get a little scroll wheel of all your batteries. Obviously I'm not an idiot. I know how to do it. It's just not... Not working. As far as this goes, what you'll see the bone sharks eating in Subnautica, as of now, I'm not sure what's below them on the food chain besides small fish in the vicinity. The only... Yep, see, eating those small fish. The only other thing in this area is the rock punchers, and there's no way they mess with each other. There's no way anything around here eat is eating these things. The only thing that would even stand a chance is the ice worm as of now and brute sharks, which I think a bone shark could mess, mess a brute shark up. Brute sharks are, I mean, a bo bone sharks are evil. They're like dinosaurs, man. They're like shark sarcos. Sharkos. Okay, everybody, so basically it bothered me that in this food chain video We weren't gonna show two of the main creatures that are mo most fun to watch the food chain for or at least witness Which is the ice worm and the glow whale because of course it was my survival series So now here we are over in my creative series my creative mode series just so we could check out these other two beasts without I guess disturbing the ecosystem which I could have done necessarily by just not saving after but it seems like I don't know, man. It's risky. It's, it's early access. It's early development. The game's already buggy. I don't want to mess around with my survival series world that much. What if it got corrupt and I couldn't recover it or something? Alright, so here we have the glow whale. Obviously, as you can tell by the glow whale in your face. Let me just go ahead and get an item scanner in here. See, there's just... I would just not feel comfortable even pressing any of these. The sea monkey was different because that was a tiny little thing, but... I don't know. I'm not chancing it. Alright, you big fella. I made so many people upset by not scanning this on video before and I apologize so freaking much. Uh, there was no way I was going to get through today's video without doing it, especially because nothing is necessarily above it on the food chain. It's much like the reefbacks where it had no natural predators, just aging and 
human litter, I suppose, and then of course it ingests these large schools of fish, which I'm waiting to witness the beauty of. That's why I put him. The Reaper in the background will not shut the hell up. That's just. Let's just wait. Let's see exactly. Exactly. That's why we're in another world. That noise. That noise it just made. Oh my god. Also, sorry today's a really late upload. I wanted to pop back in here and get some more action. Alright, I'll read off the, the scanner right now. Oh, there we go. It's opening its mouth to swallow fish. You almost got there you go there he is swally just swallowed the entire school obviously it only had its mouth on like the bottom corner of it but when it inhales the entire school disappears i'm sure it'll look better down the line but it's just really cool to watch a school of fish disappear because it opened its mouth and it sucked all right so let's check you out you giant leviathan beast wow that's what you guys are upset i didn't show off last time <laughs> I got like a good 50 extra dislikes. Just people yelling at me for not scanning the beast. There, I've scanned it. Are you happy now? You've got all the information you require for love of Christ. Alright, so this one obviously had to be done in creative too because I'm not quite where you summon the ice worm just yet. Now... Oh, crap! <laughs> well, I almost scanned it. Aim for effort, maybe? And I don't even make the jump. Just a loser all around. Where is it? Damn it, and now you're over there? It's like you're messing with me. Oh god. Boosh! That's why we have to be in creative mode right there, because that would have just sliced our face off. No, I've got gotcha. you! I, I seem to have some issues scanning the beast, it would seem. Now, as far as the ice worm goes, I, unless we scan something later on, they add information to it, like, creature has been known to ingest ice worm. I don't think we're ever going to necessarily know what's above that. I don't think anything is above that in the food chain. Are you serious? There's, what the hell? I, again, a, a bigger ice worm, maybe. As far as below on the food chain goes, I don't think they give it's, it's it basically, I would expect some information upon scanning it. Bro, I don't, I don't think I'm able to scan it. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm getting pretty close. It's not giving me any sort of read-off. This one's for all the marbles! All the Jenna marbles. Where is it? Oh, it's not even coming this time. It's because I made that stupid cringy joke. It's just not having it. Oh, that's, that's insulting. There we go. Oh, oh, a little. You're getting through there. Oh my god. That was the scariest breakout I've seen. He's really making a big deal out of that one. There is no scanning the beast! Oh! And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We started at the littlest fish, we ended with the biggest worm, and we've essentially lapped the entire food chain that is in Subnautica Below Zero as of now. I'm feeling pretty confident with that scientific analysis, indeed. So yeah, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Subnautica videos, and I'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace!